Hey guys, how's it going? It is my different username here. Oh, 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 oh wait, that that's that's not my channel. Well, hold on a second. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Alex here, and welcome to a custom build review here. Um, today, I've got one of my personal favorite weapons that I've built in my timeline. This is the first one I'm showing here on YouTube, and it is a LEGO MP7 machine pistol. So this build came about not too long ago, and it just took me up until very recently to go ahead and finish it off. Some of the coolest features include this little red dot site that I built, and the working um, selector switch, the trigger, a foregrip, a really awesome retractable stock, which can be pulled out to various lengths, and flip up iron sights. Oh, and I forgot the coolest part, the charging handle. So uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, Take a look. So starting off, we're just going to take a look really quick at the outside of how this rifle was built. As you can see, there are various details on this Legoized version of the MP7 that actually exist in the real version, such as the, un the magazine under the foregrip, the retractable stock, the folding grip, the barrel, you know, usual stuff. Taking a look more closely at the selector switch, as you can see, if I move that down, there are three settings. We have white for safety, the one single red stud for semi-auto, and then the four for full auto. I tried to recreate the um, H and K design for the... Uh, selector marks as best as I could to the real thing, so that's what I ended up coming up with. Um, back here we have a retractable stock that if I actually pull out, which it can be pulled out, as you can see there's the full length of it, and it just slides right in there. The bolt handle was actually the part that took me the longest on this gun because I had to figure out how to get this rubber band system working. It took me a while, believe me. I couldn't figure out how to do the rubber band tying, and it just ended up being kind of a ginormous mess, but once I got it done, it was so much fun to play around with, and it still is. I mean, I could sit here and do this for hours, but we have to move on. Maybe after a couple more of these. Oh, there it goes. It's stuck. Okay, there is the uh, bolt uh, whatever you call that, I forget what it's called, but where the shells will eject out of the rifle. Up here we've got a little custom red dot sight, which I mentioned earlier, and that was built using some various black pieces and some studs. Flip up iron sights are actually quite easy to build. You just use little hinge pieces and they can just flip up and down. And there's one in the front here, but uh, it's uh, difficult as the base of it is a screwdriver and those are fragile on the jumper plate, so not necessarily the best. Here we have some side rails and a top rail, like I said, so that you can attach attachments, such as that one. In the front we've got a folding foregrip, which does fold, it's just, it's very fragile and I don't want to break the weapon on camera, so, you know, that's why. The trigger does work, and it returns to its original position after every pull. We went over the selector switch, the grip, is something I actually ended up really liking the turnout of. This back section right here looks really, really nice, I think. And um, I'm glad with the way that turned out. Now, setting the weapon aside, and we're going to pull out the magazine here. This magazine took me a while to perfect. I had to even use scotch tape colored in black Sharpie to make sure that the magazine stayed together. But I got it done. We've got the nice curve at the bottom. More bricks up here for the feed and then up at the top we have a single round of ammo inside a little the little house and just like on the real weapon it slides in just like that and you can 
pull the bolt handle back or charging handle or whatever you want to call it and you've got that nice look and there it is as a first person perspective of a weapon i really like how that looks i think it looks very tactical and looks really real so i if you decide to ever build one of these um i do not recommend you go outside with it it is probably going to get you arrested or in big trouble because i think it looks pretty real from a far distance away you could mistake that for a firearm i think and i don't want to get arrested so we're just going to leave this at that big shout out to my different username who i did actually get to meet at brick world he was one, the one who inspired me to do this project a really long time ago, and uh, he's still an inspiration today because his videos are very well done and uh, are very cool. I like his weapons a lot, and it was a really big honor meeting him. So if he ever does see this video, or if you are watching this video, big shout out to you, my different username, or Kyle. Um, but it was great to be able to finally get something done like this. Uh, and I think for one of my first tries, I think I did a really, really good job of nailing that aspect of the MP7. There's the barrel right up front. Eh, the barrel looks okay. But basically, that's the MP7. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like the video if you did. And if you would like to see more LEGO weapons, just let me know in the comments below. Subscribe if you did enjoy. And I'll see all you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.